One of the biggest threats we face as a global society is climate change. Human activity has had a measurable and significant effect on our planet's atmosphere. But how do we know what the Earth's climate was like before there were even people around to observe it? It turns out ice can tell us a whole lot about the history of Earth's atmosphere. Let's take a trip north, way north, and find out more in our new Arctic Adventure exhibit. Glaciers are enormous masses of ice formed by snow falling over many years, compressing, and then freezing solid. Looking at the outside of a glacier can't tell us too much about the past. But by drilling out a sample called an ice core, we can look back in time. We can extract ice cores in sections, ranging from the surface of a glacier to nearly two miles deep, giving us direct evidence of the conditions of Earth's atmosphere going back almost 800,000 years. The farther from the surface, the longer ago the snow fell. Each layer in an ice core represents a year of snowfall. Analyzing the hydrogen and the oxygen in the ice itself gives us an idea of temperature changes over these really long timescales. Particles in the air become trapped within snowfall and then become part of that season's layer. We can look for global events like eruptions by looking for layers in an ice core that are choked with volcanic ash. Perhaps the most useful thing we can find in an ice core is a bubble of trapped gas. Tiny pockets of air can get frozen into the layer of snowfall and give us a way to directly measure the atmosphere going back hundreds of thousands of years. We can look at levels of gases like carbon dioxide as they rise and fall throughout that time, affecting the Earth's climate. The evidence that comes from ice cores tells us the story of Earth's atmosphere going back nearly a million years. Scientists can use data just like this to be able to predict the future of Earth's climate. Come to the museum and explore our Arctic Adventure exhibit to learn more about how climate change is affecting this part of our planet.